Welcome to vlog number 28. Today we're going to talk about my students testing a prototype of a game being created at Harvard University about the Declaration of Independence. Right, George? Hey, welcome back to the vlog. Today I thought I'd talk a little bit about what we did in class. My eighth graders had a really cool experience today. They were able to be beta testers for a video game that is currently be being created at Harvard University, and it's to teach students about the Declaration of Independence. The working title is currently Portrait of a Tyrant. This past fall, I saw a tweet from Declaration Resources. If you are not currently following them and you teach US history, go ahead and add that to your Twitter list. It is Declaration R-E-S for like resources. Uh, it's an amazing resource out of Harvard University. All kinds of great ideas about how to teach the Declaration. Uh, they're doing some very innovative things, very cutting edge things. Um, so I saw a tweet from them this fall asking for teachers who wanted to be testers or kind of just help them develop a game about the Declaration for students between grades 6 and 12. So I applied for their teacher advisory board and was accepted. So over the past couple months, we've been uh, working with the people at Harvard, uh, answering questions, looking at different prototypes. Uh, this past uh, spring break, about two weeks ago, I was part of a uh, Google Hangout call where we had uh, several teachers from different parts of the country involved, along with the uh, game designer, Gabe Turno, and we had uh, Emily Sneff from Harvard. Um, we're all kind of working together to get this project up off the ground. Um, I'm obviously just a tester. I'm not actually creating the game, but they're at the point where they wanted students to be able to kind of dig into the first level and uh, get some feedback from students. So that's what we did in class today. My students were able to do a, uh, a prototype or just kind of like a beta of the game. And then as soon as they got done taking uh, the game or working on the game, they were able to answer a survey. And I think my students really enjoyed it. They liked playing the game. I think that they um, kind of felt a sense of responsibility that they were the ones being able to test it. Um, but it, it was neat to see them work with it and have different ideas. I myself as a teacher have both seen a video um, kind of preview of the game, but then I've also played uh, the first level of the game like they did today. So as an adult, there are certain things that I might see in the game or that I might find easy to use or more intuitive. And uh, students at an eighth grade level are probably gonna have a little bit different experience. So the game is not currently out now, it's in development. Um, there's a bunch of uh, us teachers that are kind of doing different tests with our students, but they are definitely uh, making great progress as far as getting the game out. And eventually the game will be a great resource for any teacher that teaches the Declaration of Independence and really allow students to um, dig into the meaning of the Declaration. So instead of just saying, this is the Declaration of Independence, really breaking down the uh, phrases and the words and, you know, trying to get students to understand that really literally every word in that document has a specific reason for being there. Um, there's nothing that's fluff. There's nothing that was just added to make it sound good. You know, um, The use of a certain verb has a very specific reason. And if you read the book, Our Declaration, that's really what that book is about. Um, it's a great book. It dissects everything in the Declaration of Independence. Um, I read it this past fall after uh, joining the advisory board. And uh, it really made me think about the Declaration in a completely different way. So um, stay tuned for updates. I'll try and mention different things on the vlog as we work on the game. But eventually it is going to be an amazing resource for everyone that teaches American history. And until then, do follow the uh, Twitter account. There's a web page. Um, there's also a couple articles about the development of the game. All of those are on our show notes for this particular episode. And again, that's at historygeekteacher.com. So if you're kind of interested in the game, go ahead and check that out. And uh, stay tuned to them for updates as more and more stuff comes out and they get closer to a full release of the game for everyone. That's going to be it for today's vlog. Go ahead and follow us online at historygeekteacher.com. My contact information is also there if you'd like to contact me, or you could also leave a comment on the video down below on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube if you'd like to follow along. Um, I've been able to do a vlog each day this week. It's Thursday, so I've got one more day this week to do five vlogs in a week, 
and uh, kind of working on my workflow and trying to get it down so that I can hopefully kind of add some different discussions along the week and uh, kind of keep them nice and short and just different things. But I would love to hear your thoughts, your ideas, anything that you might want me to do a, a possible vlog on in the future, go ahead and leave a comment or contact me via the website. So as George and I always say, until next time, remember history is so much more than just a bunch of boring old dead guys. Until next time, bye.